This is Truth to Order in the style of the game 21 Bears. We were attacked wow. by lions. Wow. What? what? I expected it to be better than Bruges and just like super romantic and you just can't help but just getting into the mood. This is actually a bit of a jump cut for us here at ATC. Because in this video, we'll be playing my favourite childhood game of truth or dare. With our fellow small YouTubers on Zoom. If you've been following us on social media, you'll know that we're back home in the UK and we're in our families, but we're apart. Oh. Hence the split screen during this game. Talking of which, let's jump on Zoom and meet our other travel vloggers. Hello! Hello! Hi! <laughs> Welcome everyone. Hello, welcome. Well, I think our days are really tame, to be honest. I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit nervous and a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> we only have one where you take your clothes off. <laughs> well, to start with, I think we should introduce each other. I'll start with us being after the cum. Hello. So we're doing little campers. We are from uh, Bedfordshire in England. And uh, as you can see, we're in the camper van tonight. Uh, that's what our vlog's about. Um, it's about vlogging from the camper van, going away and visiting places. Portly Travellers, how you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm Shauna. Hi. I'm Trevor. We're from BC, Canada. We do vlogs on traveling, old and fat, and with <laughs> dietary restrictions. So we thought we'd be a little bit different than all the 20 year old vloggers that climb mountains. We <laughs> take the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Sue um, of Sue Where Why What. Um, so I mainly blog um, and I've probably just got into YouTube for about the last six months or so. And I represent the older group. So I turned 50 last year and uh, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro to celebrate. Um, so cool. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I... How do you clap? There's a reaction button at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> you can, oh, I think it was thumbs yeah. up. There's no thumbs down, so... Hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and Travel Bug B. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Uh, can you hear me, yeah? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, my name is Amy. A lot of my travel vlogs are about um, spontaneous travel, budget travel, that kind of thing. Um, last year I'd done a working holiday visa in Canada in BC and <laughs> I was uh, working in Whistler for about six months oh. and then started this year I went backpacking for about six weeks uh, around Canada. After this lockdown stuff is finished then I plan to travel a bit of Europe, go to Morocco and maybe someday head towards Asia. Cool, well it's lovely, thank you all so much for coming. I'm going to hand over to Tamsin now who's going to Explain the rules Explain of this. The rules of the game. Game. Yeah. All right, so this is Truth or Order in the style of the game 21 Dares. And I don't know if you've ever played this before, but basically you, you count as a group from 1 to 21 in each round, and you're allowed to say either one, two, or three numbers in a row. And whoever says 21 gets asked Truth or Dare. And then you choose, and then we do what's ever on the list. The person who's been 21 before would ask truth or dare and then right. would oh, okay. give their truth or dare for that person and on that go. Okay, so I'm going to start by going one, two, three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh that's four. Seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to break the rules already. <laughs> nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. <laughs> That's 13. 14, 15. 16. 17, 18, 19. Oh, oh no, that's not us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 20. 20, 21. <laughs> <laughs> uh, truth or that? Uh, truth. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is so, going to ask the truth questions. Ask the I'm going to start off mild. <laughs> Let's start mild. Where's the weirdest place you've slept when you're on your travels? Oh. Um, weirdest place I slept was in Ottawa in Canada. 
it was a haunted prison hostel and um, basically wow. the whole hostel used to be a prison in the night i think it was from the 1800s to 1940s and i got a room which was an actual cell that they use for actual prisoners <laughs> oh wow oh wow <laughs> did they lock you in at night um you locked yourself in but they still had like <laughs> the the barred doors with the metal bars and they give you a little key to lock yourself in and then they had a little plaque on the d on the wall to say a name of a notorious prisoner that stayed in your very cell oh, um, <laughs> they had they it was the prison actually had executions and stuff as well so they kept death row the same as it was back then it's pretty spooky. <laughs> wow, yeah. wow, that's amazing. Well, that's a great one to start on. Thank you very much. So if you kick off now, Amy. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty. Oh, twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> and so now you're up, Amy, to ask uh, the guys. Do you want to just What are we doing? Show for a dare. True. Yeah, we go for a truth. What is the most embarrassing moment on your travels? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when I got too drunk on the cruise, I got I got fairly drunk on the cruise, um, and the ship was just rocking, and the hangover was just horrendous. Um, but I actually got a bit ill in the bin in the room. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit. Uh, yeah, and uh, a bit embarrassed. We, we, we were in the theatre at the time when Claire realised she was slightly drunk and she'd oh. taken her shoes off and then she walked to the toilet barefoot. Yeah, we got back to the room and uh, after being sick in the bin, Claire decided to panic about her shoes. That was probably the most, yeah. A bit embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> bit tame, but... Uh... I imagine being drunk on a rocking ship is not that pleasant. It's not good. Right? Mm. No. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's not. However, I think she chose to do it on the perfect night because it was the first night. So I think if you can cope with being drunk on the first night, then everything else after that is doddle. I'm just going to go for one. Two, three, four, oh, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Hang on. <laughs> 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 okay, I think we'll say nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. <laughs> oh, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, for truth, or are you going to be brave and go for dare? I'm going to go for dare. I was to go for dare as a kid. Yeah. Okay, so he's shaking his head like no. <laughs> so, do you both do the dare separately, or how does this work? Um, she said dare. Uh, it depends what it is, doesn't it? Um, but we'll both do it. So no, basically, what Alex just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. We're letting you know. <laughs> So basically, we, we've done our homework and we've watched all of your vlogs and uh, yeah, we've loved all of you guys' vlogs. Um, but uh, yeah, one thing that came out with you guys um, after the calm was Tamsin's faces. So basically, we found that your face is just so animated um, and we okay. love it. So basically, what we would like you to do is using only your face we want you to go through a range of at least six emotions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, right. Do you want me to dictate? Yeah, why don't you list emotions and then I'll, I'll do them with my face. Okay. We'll start with pure joy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nausea. <laughs> <laughs> Contempt. Contempt. Oh god, that's a hard one. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's more like hate or envy. Disdain. <laughs> Disdain. Uh, um. He's stitching you up here, isn't he? Cheekiness. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Cheekiness. Okay. <laughs> and um, hungry. Hungry. <laughs> That's 
my version. <laughs> Was that six? I feel like a cartoon character. <laughs> Thank you. The <laughs> little canvas. That's a good one. <laughs> That's it. So, uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen. 20, 21. Hey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and would you like a truth or a dare? I'll have a truth, please. Share one of the travel scrapes you've had. Oh, God, I have so many scrapes. <laughs> um... We've done our research, too. So one of my, one of my best travel scrapes was... Um, when I was camping, what well, years and years and years ago, when I was camping in the Serengeti and we were attacked wow. by lions. What? what? Yeah. yeah, 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 I know, it sounds mad. So um, basically we, ca we were camping, so all of us had our tents in a semicircle and then there was the truck that we were travelling on an overland trip with. And um, so we were all fast asleep and there was this noise in the camp. And we'd been winding each other up before about being attacked by animals because we heard all these noises and we were just told, no, 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 they're miles away. They're miles away. Um, just sounds really close. And um, yeah. basically, they, they say that you should never pee near your tent. And um, there was a couple there and they peed just behind their tent and it attracted the lions. And so in the middle oh, of the no. night, oh my God. We, had, we had three lions playing in our campsite and basically they were just running right around their tent for an hour and a half apparently and um that sounds amazing and scary at the same time <laughs> it was amazing and scary at the same time absolutely it, it was both of those things and, and I, in my head i was like oh that's miles away um one of the one of the groups had everything stolen from the front of their tent or oh, it had uh, bite marks in it <laughs> so the water bottle had punctures in it um, his trainer went missing completely. We never found that again. One of the girls had a, um, a pair of denim shorts and they'd gone completely apart from this one square that she found. <laughs> and then this other, oh, then her wow. friend had the shorts but with a massive bite hole out of, the, out of them. Wow. wow. Have them on wow. A <laughs> wow. So that you don't get that, a, you don't get that a whip snade, Sue. I know, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was a, it was an interesting night. I didn't know they liked denim. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's got a shoe somewhere as well. <laughs> I've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pick two. I know, we're boring. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. What is the one thing that you take with you everywhere and you could never travel without? My Zoplicone. <laughs> what? <laughs> I pick sleeping pills. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sleeping pills. Okay, how about you, Trevor? Yourself. <laughs> oh. A passport is all that comes to me. <laughs> 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 That's a nice move. Eat bottles light. Pair of pants? Yes. You do bring pants. Yes. <laughs> I'm old fashioned, I guess. We're old He's old fashioned. Yeah, we have a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube channel and a passport. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, six, seven, eight, sorry. Nine. 11, 12. 13, 14. 15, 16. 17, 18. 19, 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 21, 22. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> so, truth or dare? <laughs> well, I have some good dares. Well, uh, hang on, whoa. Claire, Claire wants to say good dares. Reenact a cruise ship safety drill. Okay, um, you'll be good at this. Right, yeah, so I've, got, I've actually got a degree in theatre, so uh, <laughs> I'll, give it, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. When you hear the emergency signal, please go to the muster station. The emergency signal will be three long blasts on the ship's horn. <laughs> 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 
Come on, Clyde, throw your whistles. <laughs> Once you've arrived at your muster station, please put on your life jacket. Tie the toggles around your waist. You have a whistle for attracting, attracting attention and a flashing light. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Fantastic. That was oddly beautiful, thank you. No worries. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Twenty-one. I was actually going to get him again, isn't it? Really. <laughs> Um, yeah, do you want two for there? It's the truth. Reference to your name after the calm. Um, what is your most chaotic experience whilst travelling and why? I think for me, it was the ferry from Dar es Salaam to, to Zanzibar. Total chaos. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's for me. What about you, Tamsin? You, you might have a better one. I was going to say the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> having to come back home. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think the Dar es Salaam one was, yeah, pretty up there. So they were just all crowding around us and, and they'd be very confident and say, yep, follow me, follow me. And they had no idea, you know, uh, they'd sort of just take our bags and, um, and then expect payment to put them on the boat. And then they also, because it was so hot, they used to spray people in the queue to get on the boat. So it felt like you were kind of in a cattle farm. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And at the other end, there was this weird kind of immigration you had to go through because Tanzania and Zanzibar are kind of the same country, but Zanzibar is slightly separate, so you have to go through passport control. But it was kind of like everyone for themselves just push your way forward through to the checking desk and um, you got to throw all your bags through a scanner and everything like that. It was just, it was the epitome for me of total chaos. It was such a great experience as well and a really <laughs> a really cool country so you like <laughs> chaos yeah <laughs> <laughs> we go after the uh the unusual and the bit crazy so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one hey <laughs> take them one for the team <laughs> What would you like, truth or dare? We like truth. Now this is a question that Tamsin came up with, which I don't fully understand, but I'm going to go... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this going to be? <laughs> if you could do a third salmon arm vlog, what would you do differently? Not do it. <laughs> What's a salmon arm? It's the number one place to live in BC, Canada. So we did a video there, which is doing really well. But yeah, Trevor was sick through the whole day. And we should have just not done the filming that yeah. day, lesson learned. And we just filmed anyways, which was then mostly me. <laughs> yeah, it's also where you first met. Did you have your first date there, I noticed? Yeah, we did at the wharf. We've done two Salmon Arm videos. Our very first video was Salmon Arm because we were like, let's just do it. What the hell? Let's just film and just get it over and done with. And it was the worst video where so we can't even watch it. It's so embarrassing to watch that video. It's so bad. My mom even was like, oh, that was terrible. It was so <laughs> <laughs> We keep it there so people can see how far we've come from like really bad. <laughs> and heavy metal music playing in the background just to like, yeah. It was... Is that to drown out Trevor being sick? The heavy yes. <laughs> Oh man, it was such a bad video. So like, I'm glad we filmed it because it got us started and got us over the fear of seeing ourselves on camera. I think everybody cringes at their first video and then kind of builds up after a while. Still do. Everyone's sitting there going, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> right, there are. Are, you, are you guys going to treat for a dare? Uh, I'll go for another dare, go on. So, following your visit to Kennedy Space Centre, 
we want you to give us your best moonwalk. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't. Oh god. Okay, hang on. Right. Oh. Oh, you got me. Yeah. Yep. Okay. See you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the last round. Last round, okay. One, two, three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. <laughs> eight. Ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Truth or death? Truth. Truth. Or For the win. Right. So, what was the most disappointing destination you have been to so far? That's easy. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've never been. Why? Uh, I don't know. Everyone said it would be like super romantic. And we had just left Bruges in Belgium. And it was like being in a fairy tale there. Like it was over the top romance. And then we went to Paris and there was pee and poop everywhere on the sidewalks yeah. and people were like just sitting in it and it was like we didn't inspire romance it inspired a shower <laughs> 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 the people there were super nice though so people were sitting in their own poo he <laughs> he or, like, there was urine and people were just sitting on it in it i expected it to be better than bruges and just like super romantic and you just can't help but just getting into the mood and yeah it is, we had not so much not that mood anyway <laughs> <laughs> right well that was a good one to finish <laughs> thank you so much for playing for an hour it's so cool to meet you all yeah. thanks for having us feels pretty short <laughs> yeah no thank you for uh thank you for arranging this yeah thank you we uh we completely Pleasure. forgot but we was we was going to draw up a little banner and hold it up and say thank you um, oh that's like, so cute we, we, we can imagine so. the thought that counts yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give, give you a thumbs up here we go yeah yeah, 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 yeah it's kind of nice connecting and getting to know more other smaller youtube channels Glue's maybe nice when well. this virus is all over we could do a group trip Woo! Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you we so much for organising. It's been a really good idea. Really fun. Thank oh, you. Oh, fantastic. Thank I'm you. glad you all enjoyed it. It's lovely to meet you all. Thank you so lovely much. Lovely to meet you all. Bye. 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 See you soon. Guys, bye. 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 So cool. Oh, it's our first collab. We've been saying that if this setup works well, uh, we might do another episode um, featuring more travel vloggers. So if you would be interested in the idea and want to get in touch, just DM us on Instagram or Twitter. We'll be continuing with the last vlog in our Asia series next week, focused on our decision to pause long-term travel and the roundabout trip we made around Asia to escape being affected by the pandemic. For now though, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below with any thoughts. These guys as well, check out their channels. They're all small YouTubers that are showing real promise and they're up and coming. They're great. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. <laughs>